Hi, Jacob. Thanks for your question. Um, to figure out how long Thomas was driving for 55 miles per hour, we are going to have to use um, a formula that relates the time he was driving to the distance he drove. So we're going to use the formula D equals RT, which the D stands for distance, the R stands for rate, and the T stands for time. So distance equals rate times time. In this case, we need to modify it slightly though, because this formula only accounts for a person going one rate for one amount of time. But it looks like Thomas was traveling at two different speeds for two different times. That's okay, it's really easy to modify. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change it so that distance equals the first rate we were traveling at times the time that we were traveling at that first rate um, plus the second rate that we were traveling at plus or times the time that we were traveling at that rate. So D equals our first speed the, times the time we were traveling the first speed plus the second speed times the time we were traveling the second speed. As you can see, I've made a little table over here on the right. So we're going to go ahead and fill in what R1, R2, T1, and T2 are. So R1, let's go ahead and call that 55 miles per hour because that's the one we're interested in. And rate 2 was the other speed that he was traveling at. It looks like he was going 30 miles per hour for a part of the time. For the time that he was going the first rate, we don't know. That's what we're actually trying to solve in the problem. So let's go ahead and call it X. Why not? Um, the time that he was traveling the second rate, we also don't know. And we don't want to make up more letters. But we know that he was traveling for five hours total. So if he was traveling for five hours total, and he was going 55 miles per hour for X hours, while the time that he was going 30 miles per hour would be 50, or I'm sorry, 5 minus X hours. Okay, so, and now all we have to fill in is D, the total distance. How far were we going? 250 miles. So that's what we're going to fill in for D. Looks like we're ready to um, fill in our equation now. So D is 250. Rate 1 is 55 miles per hour um, time 1. That's just X. Rate 2 would be 30. And time 2 is 5 minus X. Now we're just solving an algebra equation. So let's go ahead and simplify the right-hand side. Oops, there we go. By distributing this 30. So 30 times 5 is 150. 30 times negative x would be negative 30x. Let's go ahead and add like terms on the right-hand side. 55x minus 30x leaves us with 25x. And now let's go ahead and subtract 150 from both sides. So we are left with 100 is equal to 25x. If you divide both sides by 25, you'll see that we get x equals 4. So we're going to put the units next to that too. So he was traveling 55 miles per hour for 4 hours and going 30 miles per hour for 5 minus 4 hours, so for 1 hour. And those are the final answers for your question. Thanks again for your question and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.